So when we're talking about other key issues that we're following right now, you know, obviously it's election season. There's a lot going on with local elections that we want to keep our readers informed about. I think it's incredibly difficult to find information about candidates in Fort Wayne, which it doesn't seem like it should be. Um, and so we just want to help people identify, you know, where do these candidates stand and what can we prepare them for at the elections this fall. Um, but another thing that we're seeing, I think, as a hot topic is obviously housing. That's been a huge issue. Um, with the Fort Wayne Media Collaborative as well. This year, the Collaborative is covering housing, evictions, and neighborhoods. Um, and those are really the key areas that we focus on with the local as well because they do touch on so many things. I mean, just a couple weeks ago, um, it, we, had, we saw so much happening around um, a do Domo development announcing a huge proposal for Fort Wayne's riverfront, which obviously affects a lot of housing in the area. And so, um, we've been looking into that in recent weeks and also just riverfront development in general, you know, and um, so as the city's downtown development extends toward the like toward the Well Street and High Street area on North River, um, there's a lot of interesting conversations to be had, I think, there about property acquisitions and housing and retail development and just how do you support development in a community? Obviously, we all want to see you know, our community grow and continue to reap the benefits of good development, but also how do you do that in a way that doesn't gentrify communities or um, displace people who have lived there for a long time and really built their businesses or built their lives there? Um, so those are key stories that we're following.